Hello, this is Britt Caswell with another example video. On today's video, I'm covering example 5 from section 6-1 in the Savas Realize Algebra 2 textbook. The goal of today's video is to compare two exponential functions. Alright, so what we're, what we're comparing, y'all, is we're comparing an actual written equation and then we're going to compare a graph. Okay? So it says, a museum purchased a painting and a sculpture in the same year. So here's their sculpture, here's their painting, they're the same thing. Their changing values are modeled as shown. Find the average rate of change of each value of artwork over the five year period. So here y'all, they're asking for the slope. Which artwork's value is increasing more quickly? So which one here? has a bigger slope okay so what we need to do is we need to actually start by finding the y values that go with this one okay so remember the slope formula is that the slope is equal to the change in the y values divided by the change in the x values okay we already know that our x values we're dealing with are from 0 to 5 because that's the first 5 years. Okay? So we already have our x values, but we need to make sure that we have both sets of y values. Okay? This one they give us ordered pairs so it's easy. But here on the equation I don't have those y values. So first I'm going to find those y values. So I'm going to find f of 0 and f of 5 for this equation. So I have 50 times 1.075 to the 0th and 50 times 1.075 to the 5th. Now this top one's easy because any number to the 0th power is 1 and 50 times 1 is 50. Ah, uh, this bottom one a little less so. So I'm going to get some help from our friend Desmos. Alright, so this one is um, 71.7814. Now, here's the thing, is Desmos is really, really picky, or um, Samus is really, really picky. So I'm going to take this even further with decimal places, just in case they round differently than I do. Oh, gosh. And I have such a bad memory with this. 1466. <laughs> Uh, all right, I think that's far enough. So I have my two numbers, so now I can find my slope. Here we go. So my slope is my change in my y values. So I'm going to put my 71.78146630, and I'm subtracting 50 from it. Now down below, it's important that you have it in the same order. So see how I did f of 5 first and then f of 0? So down here at the x's, I need to do 5 minus 0. Okay. So all I'm going to do is take that number, subtract 50, so that's 21.78, yada, 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 and divide it by 5. Okay. So I'm going to come over here. I don't really need to do that. So, ooh, no! Sorry, all the struggle is real today. So I'm going to just do that subtraction right away. That first subtraction right away and just call this 21.78146630086. And then downstairs, remember we had that 5 minus 0, which is 5. So in this case, our slope is 4.3529, yada, yada, yada. All right, so now that we've done that part, that's the most pain in the neck part here, y'all. Now we need to find our slope for our other one, okay? I'm just going to put this to the side, like right there. All 
Okay, so now that we have that, now let's go over here to the painting. All right, so I'm just going to put this line so you can see that I'm doing a different calculation. So here, our slope formula goes a lot quicker because we don't have to calculate f of 0 and f of 5. Okay, so I'm going to start by subtracting the y values. And in the same order, I'm subtracting the x values. So I'm going to be doing 24.4 divided by 5. And that's going to be a, an easier calculation. Uh, 4.88. All right, so now we've done all the calculation. Now we have to think about which artwork's value is increasing more quickly. So that's one thing that's a nice kind of buzzword in here is that increasing. Because that's telling you that you had better have a positive slope that comes out on both of these, right? So um, sometimes kids have a hard time putting in the right order for answers because they, they flip their X or they flip their Y. Here, that increasing is telling you they have to both be positive. So here, the painting increases at a faster rate. Oh, I should say the value of the painting. See here, we're trying to include um, more vocabulary in there to make our answer as clear as possible, right? So increases at a faster rate over the first five years than the sculpture does. And there we go, our word problem now has a word solution. All right, so let's go ahead and let's try another example. So in this case, they have the same problem with the same calculations we just did, okay? But now it says, their changing values are modeled as shown. Will the value of the painting ever surpass the value of the sculpture according to the models? Okay. So one thing to understand, right, is at five years, the sculpture was worth more than the painting. Right? The sculpture was worth 71 and the painting was worth 64. So in this case, at the at the beginning of its curve here, I'm gonna I'm gonna try to do a rough sketch of the two curves. So the sculpture, I'm gonna do the sculpture in red. He's increasing here a little more slowly, but at a certain point, he's worth more than the other painting or the other thing. Now this painting, he gets what's like a steeper slope, essentially, like this. So like, these are both exponentials, and so there's this little section of the painting value that's lower than the sculpture value. But because the painting value is increasing at a, at a higher rate, that means that it has a bigger slope that's going to going to cause it to pass. All right. So that's what I'm going to type here. Um, if you're looking at the notes, I guess I could type it in the video. So because the painting has a higher rate of change than the sculpture, over time it will become worth more than the sculpture. struggling with the word sculpture today apparently there we go but there we have it y'all um if you guys do ever want to find that point what you would need to do is you would need to find the equation of the painting and put the painting and the sculpture on the same graph and find that point of intersection there we go um that was how to compare two exponential functions until next time